Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Come on, man. Okay. All right. Um. Yo, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's your boy G-Hog, and in today's video, I'll be showing you all a very easy car to RC method. But at the end of the video, I even hit car to car, so stick around and take advantage of this. Change any wheels to your preferred wheel of choice. You will need an arena, and then the car that has the mods, and then the donor car inside your arena as well. So first, I'm just going to hit car to RC and put any wheels I want onto my RC Bandito. This is still working. I had a, f a few people message me and say uh, car to RC wasn't working, but I just hit it. So this is still working, everyone. So you can put any wheels onto your RC Bandito. I do have another video on this, which is in much more depth and detail. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to leave a link in the description to that video. But now let's get into it now that I've put the wheels onto my RC Bandito. So first you just want to have your car you want the mods on. You just want to pull that into the mod shop. And we're going to be hitting right D-pad, gassed left D-pad here. So this is the new workaround, guys. I'm just changing this lid, saving it. Alright, so here's my donor car, guys. This is the one I want the mods onto. So I'm going to pull this in, and it, each time you fell, you have to get out of the vehicle and retry. So here, you're going to hit right D-pad, gas, left D-pad. But I failed here, so I'm going to redo it. Now, I found an easier method to hold right D-pad with your index, your left D-pad with your middle finger, and then gas with your right index finger and then if done correctly it's going to show the car's name at the bottom right hand screen and show you driving in invisible so this might take you guys a few tries as it did for me but now when you exit the vehicle and then you get back into your vehicle and you'll have left d-pad to return it to storage so you're going to return this back to storage everyone and it's not going to go anywhere. It's it's going to be glitched out inside your arena here. So this is the workaround. Boom. As you can see, I have right D-pad to modify this vehicle. So now you're able to pull in any other vehicle. And this is pretty much the TP method here. So I'm just going to use this big truck just to TP me inside of this car here. But it's way in the back here. So I'm just going to return this back to storage and re-enter so I'm underneath the truck. And then now that I've pulled this in and I'm underneath the truck, you can simply just exit this. It should TP you out. If you hit triangle, it should TP you back into that car. So now you're good here. Now you just go over to your RC, hit right D-pad one time. And then you're just going to exit the workshop, come over to the car here, and you're going to request a job from Simeon or Gerald. And then you're going to hold pause and release pause and accept his job here. If done correctly, you should hear that double click. As long as you hear that double click and you launch up Titan of a Job, you're good. Now when I get into Titan of a Job, you'll see that it says Titan of a Job with Gerald, as this job is a Lester job. So you can see in the top corner, it says Gerald. If you've hit that, then you're good. You're just going to back out of the job. Immediately hit triangle and left D-pad. So triangle left D-pad. And then the car should go into its spot here that the truck was in. But at this point, you just want to go in and modify one thing on the car and save it. And that's the glitch, guys. That's pretty much the end of it. But I do have one more recording at the end of this, as it did get a little messed up. So I had to cut it and do what I could to throw this in. But so, for instance, I want this yellow paint job on this car. And... It doesn't have the plate and stuff I want, so I'm going to use my Allergy Retro Custom so I can change the wheels to my preferred wheel of choice here. But my blue car has my G-Hog plate, as the yellow one doesn't. So I'm going to merge this yellow car to the blue car, change my wheels, 
and then I'm simply just going to drive out of the arena so I can get my G-Hog plate onto this yellow paint job here. So pretty much once you got your blue car to stay inside your arena, you just want to redo the same thing with your second car. And now I have the right D-pad option and I have both cars inside my arena. So now I'm able to go grab my big truck so I can TP inside here. As you don't have to use the big truck as a donor anymore, guys. This is just the TP method here to get in and out of the car. So I'm going to pull this in. And then it's going to push my Deluxo to the back here, which is fine. You just want to simply return the LRG Retro Custom back to storage here. So I want the blue car with the yellow paint. So I got to get this blue car up underneath the truck as well. So I'm just going to return it to storage and then re-enter. And when I enter, I should be underneath the truck here. So I'm just going to simply return this. Pull it back in. And then I'll be underneath the truck. And then once I'm underneath the truck, I just want to simply go get in my Deluxo. So the game thinks I was in this car last. And then you're just, you're just going to do the Gerald or Simeon job thing that we were doing in the beginning. So for here, I'm just going to go get in my Deluxo. So the game thinks I was in this car last. As I'm trying to TP in here, guys. Boom, I'm in. Right D-pad to modify, and then you can simply just exit the vehicle. You don't have to change anything on it. You just want to get in, hit right D-pad, and then exit. So here, I'm just going to do the Simeon or Gerald job invite with the pause. So here, I'm going to accept his job. Holding pause, release pause, accept his job at the same time. You should hear that double click. Then you just want to launch up Titan of a Job. And once you're in Titan of a Job, just back out. And then once you're about to touch ground, you just hit triangle left D-pad. Do that pretty quickly, and then the car should merge over. And then for me, I wanted to put my G-Hog plate on there, as the yellow car didn't have that. So then I'm just going to drive outside and save that plate. So here I hit it. At this point, you would go in to your mod shop, save one thing on it, and that's the glitch, guys. But here, it has a different plate as it doesn't have my G-Hawk plate on it. So I'm simply just going to drive outside, and my plate will revert to G-Hawk again. So here, I'm going to drive out. Boom, my plates change over. Now here you just want to go to your MOC and save this, or you can go to LS Customs and change one thing on the car to save this plate. But if this video helped anyone out, drop a like down below and sub to the channel for future GTA 5 videos like this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.